Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so I figured like I come on and do a live today because, you know, this, well, it's been a minute since I've done a live, but I did want to do a live for one of two reasons. Hello, pretty, pretty skills, so pretty skitless. Um, Oh, you guys just drop drop comments when I make this video available. I'm saying hello to everyone, uh, all of you who join. Uh, the purpose of this video is I'm a troll the trolls today. You know what I mean? The challenge is, okay, so let me just give a quick backstory. You know, shout out to all the people who actually do follow us on the different platforms. Um, we do have a trip coming up to Rio for Carnival if you want information about that you want uh details most of the people who who have sent us information wanted pricing information so you can always find that in our dms but what i want to do uh today is i really do want to troll the trolls okay so let me just give a quick backstory of what happened you know we've changed up our comment uh, our content a bit you know, if you look at the grid, uh, at our IG grid, if you follow us, if you don't follow us on YouTube, you should definitely follow the YouTube channel. Um, we, uh, recently made some changes because after taking a closer look at, you know, the, the content that we've been doing, because, you know, we've had the, the channel for several years and the purpose of the YouTube channel for us was really to communicate directly with the black travelers network community. And it's our, our way, our best way of whether it be answering questions or giving tips and advice, travel tips, travel advice. It's a mixture of people who come on our trips. Some people are, well, probably most people are solo travelers. So people tune into that content as well. So, uh, we have the channel for a number of different reasons, but I want to troll the trolls because a lot of these people who, who have been commenting, uh, they haven't even been commenting on our, our videos. They've just been emailing. And if you look at, uh, the grid, our, our, uh, IG grid, you'll see one of our latest posts shows you the level of, um, pettiness <laughs> some people are on, um, because we just took some of the, the emails, a couple of the emails. We have more emails that have come in, uh, with people who have been complaining about the content, uh, shift that we've made. And so we instituted a, uh, a series called vacation, like a particular celebrity. And the reason why that is a really important series for us is because we do have a fair number of our travelers who travel solo and you know when you start thinking of ideas on places you'd like to travel or um, thinking of how to go about traveling you know some people have bigger budgets than other people we just felt that you know looking uh, taking a closer look at some of the celebrities and what they're doing is a great way of giving people ideas on places to travel um, and it's also just a great way of giving people um, some real content on some of the places that people, these celebrities are actually staying. I'm one of those people that I've never been um, like a celebrity type type person. I lived in Los Angeles for, for like eight years. And so I've seen celebrities all the time. Like I see them in LA, outside of LA. I lived in Chicago. I were running into them in Chicago. And so I'm like, I, I mean, ran into them in Miami, South Carolina. I'm from Dallas. I'm here in Dallas. I run into them in Dallas. And I'm not one of those people that just frequents places where um, I think people, celebrities are going to be. And so because of that, I just said, hey, why not have a series that's dedicated to some, some people really do want to be in the same space and place as, as, as um, people who are celebrities or people who are affluent. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. When you are in uh, spaces and places where uh, you're among high income earners, that's a different energy. That's a different space. And so 
I wanted to um, just tell some of some of the people uh, who have who have emailed us because we've had some of our great uh, 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 travelers, our great clients, supporters who have said, well, what does this mean? You're doing celebrities and travel. What does this mean? And my response is always it could mean absolutely nothing other than you get some ideas about travel, some cool destinations, or it can mean something. If people are genuinely interested in going to some of these places, we will definitely entertain it. But I want to draw uh, the attention to uh, a, a number of these people because, you know, people come and they leave these these weird comments in our emails and I'm not one for the fake outrage. So our one of our most recent videos and you can go to our YouTube channel now and even see it. We did a video it's called vacation um our vacation like uh, video is vacation like Nia Long. Everybody knows right now Nia Long is in the news unfortunately for some BS um, based off of, you know, who, who her partner is. And I don't get into the gossip. We don't get into the gossip of it all. Um, but I do feel like this was an opportunity for us to talk very, um, candidly with, with people, not just, not just women. Our primary, uh, target is women. Cause I think a lot of women can understand what she's going through, but there are some men as well who have had, uh, women who have stepped out on them. And the overall message and theme of the video is that um, if you're going through a difficult time in your relationship, one of the best things you can do for yourself is to involve yourself in some self care, whether that's getting on a plane. I mean, obviously we're travel content. So we talk about the importance of getting on a flight and getting as far away from the drama as possible. And we talk in the video about where she stayed and what she did while she was vacationing in Mexico. Now this was earlier in the year earlier in the year. And I say that, you know, this is a great way to kind of like, look at, she went to Mexico and Nia's travel style really is, she's going to be someplace where there's a beach, where there's tropical weather. Um, she's obviously, uh, um, for this one, she went to Punta Mita, Mexico. Um, but she's gone to other places, uh, it, like Hawaii and, uh, uh, Mayacoba, you know, down in, in, um, South America as well. So Nia has a certain type of travel style. And so, because of that and because of what's going on, I thought it'd be a great time and a great opportunity to draw attention to that. One of the trolls, um, now this woman, I'm not going to air her all the way out because I'm not going to put her name out there. But after looking closer, um, this is somebody who's been a part of our community since 2000, well, since 2018. She signed up in 2018, says she wanted to travel, says she wanted to go on, on a trip. The woman hasn't gone on that one trip. She barely is it, like, we've literally never heard from her, never heard from her until we dropped this video. And the name of the video, um, is how to vacation during a cheating scandal. Now we're not making light of this scandal. I don't even get into the gossip because really what happened, how it happened, all of that. We don't know those details. It does not matter. What matters is that we are a travel platform. We encourage people to travel. People travel for different types of reasons. Um, we, we also had some, some shady comments. Uh, uh, somebody emailed us some shady comments about when we dropped our video about Will Smith and how Will Smith travels, you know? Um, and his trip to India and, and people felt that that was inappropriate because it was like, you're talking about Will Smith and Will Smith and he ought to be ashamed of himself. I'm like, look, I am not talking about Will Smith from that aspect. I'm talking about where Will Smith travel, but back to the sister who, who wrote in the troll, <laughs> um, she said this email, <laughs> cause we emailed the video out to our travelers. This email should not be broadcast to people highlighting such a devastating time in someone's life. Okay, first of all, enough with the fake outrage. Let's not pretend like all of a sudden you're like really outraged because at the end of the day, like you don't even really open <laughs> your emails. You've not even participated in the community. You're not um, coming on any of the trips. So like, I, I don't really understand why you, why, why, 
you would take the time to write a full paragraph on how outraged you are that we did a vi video about Nia Long. <laughs> that just blows my mind. Um, but uh, she comes on and she says, why is this about Nia Long anyway? She then goes on to say, what does travel have to do with Nia Long's fiance cheating on her? Let me just answer that question. There are a lot, this is not about just Nia Long. Nia Long is the, the, the uh, avenue to have a deeper conversation with people who have gone through difficult challenges in their relationship. And some people have broken up and some people may have stayed together. Um, but this is really more about the fact that, you know, there's when you when you experiencing something that can be that devastating that and, and blindsided I think those were the terms that Nia Long used she got blindsided I really really truly believe that that's an avenue for you to take some time to yourself reinvest in yourself and to to really do some some things that are going to make you feel good both physically and mentally that's what it was really about she then says i did not sign up to receive gossip from a travel page let me just reiterate this to all the trolls we over here at btn black travelers network it says travel okay that's the root and the core of what we do we do not engage in gossip and it was very clear to me that this is someone who did not even watch the video okay and as does most of the trolls most of the trolls do not watch the video anyway because they don't if they watch the video they would leave their trolling comments in the con in the comment section of the video but no they don't do that they email us directly <laughs> which is fine i absolutely love it um because this is you know it's about engagement and not everybody has to like uh, everything, uh, hello, <laughs> those of you who are jo joining, not everybody has to like what we're doing. And for those of you who travel, for those of you who do, who produce content, I think that's important for you to understand. Like you're going to get some people who are very, very critical and very, very negative about anything you do. I can tell you no matter what the content piece is that we drop, uh, it does not matter. <laughs> we will get positive and negative feedback and I say all feedback is equal so if it's negative hey that's great if it's positive that's great too we embrace it all is it going to change up what we're doing mm, not necessarily it really does not um, I think that if there's a to the extent that it does is if there's a strong interest in people um, showing that they want us to go deeper into a subject that maybe we have we may have scratched the surface on so we're seeing that uh, when it comes to the royal family which is not really my like I ain't really into all of that but you know a lot of the people who consume our content there is an interest there and so are we going to do another video about it absolutely um, and so you know, a lot of this is not necessarily to people's liking. Um, it, it's some, a lot of it isn't even to my liking, <laughs> to be honest, because given everything that was happening with Neo, we had to cr cr crank something out really quickly to get the eyes and the attention uh, on it. Um, and uh, the woman said this was a marketing fail and highly offensive. Um, how, how to vacation during a cheating scandal very distasteful and she was invited uh to unsubscribe uh if if uh, the title rubbed you the wrong way enough that you would um send us an email based off of a video that you didn't even consume and label it as gossip which we don't do i mean there are a bunch of amazing gossip bloggers that have me like just blown away in terms of my goodness, how how is it that you are able to develop a platform off of, you know, people's business? Some of it is out there. Some of it is not out there. Like, it's not necessarily my interest. Uh, I really feel like my true interest and my true passion lies, lies in travel because it's, it's something that has changed my life personally. It's what led me to creating the Black Travelers Network platform. Uh, so for me, I don't really get into the gossip on a 
on a level where I, I believe our 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 um our supporters should engage in that. That's just my thing. Um uh, but that was like one uh uh um of our travelers. Um I encourage you to look at um some of the other troll messages. I mean I'm telling you and we post it. We post some of these uh messages from trolls because to me I find it absolutely hilarious. These are people who many of these people are people who have been a part of our community for years. We'll send them uh stuff, we'll we'll reach out to them, they won't even respond back. But the minute we do something that they feel oh that's just appalling. <laughs> then we get the emails <laughs> and the and the comments and all of that stuff. So I, I think it's great. Um and I invite any and everybody uh to to join the 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 well if you don't follow us on IG, follow us on IG. We don't put everything on IG. Um, we split it, spread it among the different platforms. Um, but I, I feel like our YouTube channel is, is the channel, the, the platform that allows us to go a little bit more in depth. And I'm actually really excited about what we have coming uh, up uh, in terms of the channel. Obviously, we're going to do more uh, uh, celebrity content. There's some cool stuff coming out of the news um, that we think uh, is important to, to, to give people a visual as opposed to you just like watching it or whatever. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, it's all fun. It's all love. Uh, that is, uh, the gist of why I said I'm going to troll the trolls because we also had another gentleman, well, a gentleman who, who said, please take me off the list. <laughs> I have no desire to focus on such foolishness because we talked about, uh, um, the fact that the, the mindset of South Africa is that, the the crown jewels that were shown atop of the queen's casket these are also crown jewels that will be used in the coronation ceremony for uh, uh charles um a lot of people are really interested in that that story and so uh what we do is we research obviously south africa is a destination we go to a lot of times we have travelers who who uh, are going to South Africa. And so one of the things that we did is we wanted to give the backstory for those people who are traveling or who have come there to understand the level of conversation that's taking place. And this gentleman was so ticked off with us. He said that he uh, it was foolishness for us to bring that up. And this is another person who's been a part of our community since 2018. And it was so funny because I'm like, you say it's foolishness, but this is the most viral video we've ever had. And so, I mean, it's been viewed over oh, close to 12,000 views. It's it actually at the time it dropped, it pushed other big travel bloggers and folks in the entertainment um, to talk about it, at least in a segment of their report. And so I'm I'm extremely excited about the change that we've made when it comes to content. I mean, we've always sort of been covering the news uh, and different news that as it pertains to, um, you know, as it pertains to black people all over the world, we've always sort of covered that aspect of uh, travel and incorporated it into our message. Um, and we'll continue to do that. We will definitely continue to do that. Um, if any of you love to travel, I'm sure if you're watching or, you know, if you watch, you enjoy traveling, just know that we have some great trips that are coming up that you can be a part of. Uh, I would say you need to like, let us know because we like to do our secure our groups before, um, the, the, the following year. So we have a Rio carnival, which you'll see my little. <laughs> my little uh, uh, head van. This is Ode to Rio Carnival. Um, so you will, uh, uh, we have that coming up in February, Valentine's Day. You should come and, and share in the love and the excitement that we're going to uh, uh, have uh, in Rio for carnival season. Uh, so that's coming up February. We're going to Nigeria, Nigeria, Lagos in July, over the 4th of July weekend. That's going to be a lot of fun. And of course, in, uh, I want to say it's, uh, September, I think it's September. 
September 1st through, is it August? It's August or September. One of those months, uh, <laughs> I don't have my calendar in front of me. We're going back to Kenya. Kenya just gives. It gives and gives. I mean, great experience, great time. Um, there's a portion of the trip. You get some free alcohol, free liquor. So, um, yeah, just join us if you can, if you can afford it. I say the sooner you sign up, the better. That makes it much more affordable, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so do not delay. Uh, I want to invite everybody once again to follow us uh, on Instagram if you haven't. Um, we're also on TikTok. The TikTok account is pretty new. We don't have very many followers on TikTok. You can tune in. Uh, if you're also on Facebook, we're on Facebook. You can follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Um, where else? Oh, and um, I think, yeah, YouTube. YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, IG, Twitter. The major ones. And there are some minor ones there too. But um, yeah, just tune in. Join us. We'd love to have you. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen.